Bated breath as the teams prepare to come out of spawn. Our 2022 Grand Finals starts now. The Dallas Fuel and the San Francisco Shock. So it looks like both teams going to vibe for position over the point here. As uh, Proper takes a shot early on. Just kind of like jockeying for a position here, right? Fearless kind of just seeing where everybody's running. They're actually going to have the shot going to rotate around, try and take some of this position on the high ground. Get yeah, Dallas peeled back. For Edison, very quickly there. They're very concerned about Mikey closing on him. Fearless is dropping in the backside here, and no one's paying proper that much attention early on. The Shock trying to aggress aggressively position themselves towards the spawn, but Chio, of all people, to find first blood and second for the fuel. I shouldn't be surprised, but here we are. Edison is still on the field now. He's able to slide away from Mikey. He's going lower and lower. Chio fancies a bit of Argy Bargy, and Edison brings the monkey down. No one capping yet, but the Dallas Fuel have the numbers. It'll be a TP into the back line or onto the point here, rather, from Stryker. That's a risky uh, that play, is... and it's punished. Yeah, that is a really dangerous play there from Stryker. Is That's a really good sign for the Dallas Fuel early on, right? Violet not as aggressive as, like, an offensive player as Chio, where Chio sometimes gets caught out by the Sojourns, uh, you know, wall riding and whatnot. But it also gives them another weapon to throw at proper, right? You know, Fearless on one side, Shio on the high ground on another. Difficult to keep him up. Probably not expecting ever the fuel to play so close here. He has to back away, disrupt the shot. He's deployed. Edison finding a headshot there, and Violet's very low. He's trying to build towards that sound barrier now. A little bit of pressure going Edison's way. He's going to take to the high ground. Sound barrier, but it's too late. San Francisco are down to four now. The durability about to expire, and Fearless is starting to cause problems. Edison sends one Violet's way. A free haircut. Inverse Mohawk, though, you don't get to choose. And the sound barriers have been really good from Violet throughout the series. That one, just not able to keep proper alive. Then you have it. You know, the other team has a huge advantage here. And Dallas, you're going to have both support ults coming into this fight. And they're going to go above 50% on the point. Kitsune rush up here. Violet not having that sound barrier. It feels like a goal! Oh! <laughs> okay, not great, Mitch. Not great indeed. Dallas really setting the pace right now. San Francisco trying to set up, constantly getting caught off guard. Finn no longer has that Kitsune Rush. They're losing so many key ultimates, the Shock. And you've been able to hold on to this sound barrier, right? You can get aggressive behind this sound barrier. You can kind of like disengage maybe when proper uses overclock or primal. He's able to get away, but for how long? Fearless chases him down. Relentless pursuit of the Kiriko. Mikey's seen better days as well. San Francisco, if they're here to play, they're going to have to take it up a notch. They've got one last chance in this round to make something happen. And Violet has to heal himself here, able to pick up the Mega back to the point. He'll need a secure overtime, but he's been spotted already. And now the health pack there on his way, but Finn's already very low. Oh, Striker! He's cut short, tries to go for the Death Blossom, and Edison's able to find him. Phyllis is down, though, and now we have a 4v4, and Proper finally gets into the game. His first final blow of the map so far, but will it be enough? Violet and Chio both down, the team's both like mobility, and here comes Sparkle. The Shocker able to get away though. No purchase with that Reaper ultimate, but Edison turns up yet again. Proper searching, probing, hunting, and Edison is down. Now he'll play from the periphery. He needs another kill here. He's gonna get pressured by Fearless, and there it is. Fearless brings him down. Three versus four right now. The fuel have the numbers, but don't have the ability to push over the line until Fielder turns up. Good connection there. Mikey back in the fight, but Finn is very, very low, and the Shock are running on fumes. That's going to be it for the first round. Dallas look a cut above early. We finish round one. I know, huge kill disparity here at the start. I think you just see how good Fearless and Shio are combining as time we watch from Proper's POV in the first person. You see a Winston bubble dropping right in front of him. You know, the Lucio shooting to his side. He's already used his dash, can't get out of the way. <clears throat> Makes it really difficult for the Shock to get anything going. Zero final blows for Stryker in that first round. Six and two is Fearless leading the lobby right now. We talked about that tank matchup. Fearless is the linchpin for Dallas. And it's wild because Hanbin's played a large part of the season for the Dallas Fuel, but that you keep Fearless on the roster for moments like this. Fearless going in early. Edison using a safe lane for the time being. Both teams trying to find close quarters here, which could be scary. Disrupt the shots, both already being used. And 
The Fuel are trying to track the shock as they move across the map here. Mikey trying to punish the back line, and Fuel could be in trouble. Great pick off by San Francisco. Dallas will start on the point, but they're down a player here. Yeah, and they're down there, Carico. So much Wait healing. A Edison. They give up the point. They end up rotating out. Maybe if Edison finds what there, they actually go back in. They give up the point. Mikey goes in over the top. Already the Winston bubble being used. Feel not engaging with that dive. In fact, just using it fairly neutrally there. Maybe just to knock Mikey away if possible. Good angle for Proper here. San Francisco off to a decent start. Here's the disrupt the shot thrown into the main atrium, but the shock are gonna sidestep it now and try and approach the point. Disrupt the shot again. Proper trying to give himself a little bit of room to breathe here, but that is slowly expiring. Feel a slow. There it is! And that's if you're the shock. Those are the types of openings you need there. Is you're gonna get above 30% here on the point. Chio and the rest of the crew just trying to get out. Living dangerously. And presents himself for proper to devour. 40% on counting San Francisco off to a great start here. And one thing that Shock I don't think can like really match, right, is how aggressive Fielder and Shio can be offensively. But you can also take advantage of that, right? In a series that we cast earlier in the tournament in the Dallas Hill, they look great. But Chia was getting picked off, you know, a few times at the beginning of these fights. They're going for it. San Francisco want to start a fight early. So low. Good idea. Protection Suzu used. Striker's going to be able to get out there. Nice disengage from Dallas. Very oh, nimble. But it puts so a no dangerous. closer to capping. And that Sojourn could just one-shot that TP out. You need that Winston bubble on top. Here they come. Kitsune Rush being thrown down by Fielder. Dallas need to find a way to break back into the round. Proper finds himself face-to-face -face with Fielder, but hell. he's got back up! Mikey's Primal Rage gets in there. Proper needs to respect Sparkle now, but the Wraith Walk, he tries to approach. Chia gets his fifth final blow of the round. But the Shock have the numbers! Violet, not the flashiest on the Lucio, but right there. You saw the boop, striker in position, all to help Proper keep him up. Mikey handles Edison on the other side of the map. The Shock getting close to tying up map number one. 96 now, Fearless will be the one to step up first. Primal Rage and beat. Plenty to work with here for the Fuel Edison. Oh, he finds Proper's head, but Finn responds. The trade is there, Finn can return to his team. Fearless also will have to do the same now. Straight to the back of the point, that's where much of the fighting is occurring here. Striker needs to be careful, health pack won't be up for a while, and Fearless just gives him a tickle. Over the edge go the shock. They're gonna have to give it up. And you're okay with giving it up, right? I uh, know you end up losing your overclock there. Didn't have anything else to deal with, but you ended up having Edison use overclock, Primal Rage being used there, and Sound Barrier. So you get some big key ultimates. You're already at 99. You just need one fight to go your way. Not a lot of ultimates, though, for either team here. Many expended in that previous fight. San Francisco looking to play a slightly longer game here. Ugh. Even longer now with Violet coming off spawn. Mikey wants to come forward here, but he is caught. Sparkle accosts him and Finn absolutely drilled. And, and, and that's not a good fight there for the Shock because what they wanted to do there, Mitch, they just want to play that side room and just build up these support ultimates, right? You could have farmed the Kariko ult, you could have farmed you know, the sound barrier, and then you could have engaged. But because Violet gets picked off early and it just all goes in the Fuel's way, they're going to have that Katsuna rush. Mikey, how does he find himself here? Drops in. Right in front of Sparkle, he's able to jump back to the rest of his yeah! no, way! Oh, no way! Are you serious? The Dallas Fuel allow the Shock to retake the point. They're unaware of the fact that overtime was there. That is a bungle and a half. And in moments like this, right, you got the crowd reaction. I'm sure there are reaction on stage. You, you, you got to kind of settle down now going into this final round, right? You don't expect to lose that round in that type of fashion. They end up flipping the point back, ends immediately. That's a tough one. One they surely wish they would have back. Mikey just presents himself, right? <laughs> you know, looks out of position. Yeah. Dallas all turn their heads towards him. He jumps back to the point, and all of a sudden, round's over. Dallas tunnel visioning. On the Winston. I know, when you were like, what is Mikey trying to do here? I was like, well, from my point of view, it looks like he's trying to die pretty quick. Because he's getting you know, blown up by The greatest Sparkle. decoy. Yeah, but he's going to sneak the point out the back. Again, Edison operating in this pocket. He's going to be dueling with Proper, who opts to abscond for a time. <laughs> Dude, Violet had a, a, a maybe one shot there. Uh, he's so low. Dallas giving a little bit of ground here. Maybe trying to get Sparkle now into the fight. Edison is out of it, that's for sure. 
And Proper's not done here. Think back. Think what he did to those outlaws. Give this guy an inch and he'll take a country mile. Shio! Well, it was only ever going to go one way. Think what he did to the outlaws. Think what he's been doing to the entire league all season long. The shock will take the point first. And you know, sometimes like players come into the league and there's lots of hype and there was a lot of hype for Proper and you're like, all right, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. He's like surpassed that and then some. So, you know, we've, we've kind of joked around like Proper is inevitable and uh, he, he is making this run back happen for the shock through this loser bracket. It's insane. Ooh, Mikey, oh, that's a really fast play there. Shield gets that the speed boost, gets Sparkle right in the mix and Mikey not able to get out. San Francisco not ready for that kind of pace here. How are they going to respond? Oh, Papa! What's happened there? Kitsune Rush deployed regardless, but what are the options here for the Shock? It's a hard reset. And that is a huge turn of events there for the Dallas Hule. They speed boost in, they get that first kill. Let's see. Oh. oh. Not good. Stealing my lines. Mikey Lowe again getting picked off in the middle. Oh, oh my word, Edison. That one came out of absolutely nowhere. He's dialed in, Matt. As, I mean, look, you have to really, as Mike, you have to be careful jumping into these positions, right? Time and time again, we've seen now throughout this series, at least in the early parts, you know, taking big chunks of damage on in. Gio's having to boot Mikey away as he comes down, so he's not going to land in the ideal location, but there's going to be a sound barrier here for the shock to work with. Oh, the Death Blossom! Sparkle being able to find proper there. It's going to be a trade of Sojourns, in fact, but there's Finn right in front of him. He TPs back onto safe land. And the shock booted out again. Three fights in a row in favor for the Dallas Fuel. Overclocks available for both sides here. You know, maybe are able to actually like kind of speed boost striker on the point here. Take that opposite position. You have that death blossom to work with. Striker posturing here. Sparkle a little bit low, having to get away. Overclock for proper. Can he just park someone's what? head off? What? what? A is yes. Two huge kills and enough to put the shock ahead in this fight, but it's not over. Striker now needs to try and get his damage done, but he's staved away by the Winston bubble. It looks like, yes, the fuel are out. Striker, a contingency there with the Death Blossom. Zoning all. Secures the fight win. They did see that and back away. It's like a big spinning disruptor shot there. <laughs> I see you doing the, doing the Reaper dance there on the point. Locking him off. It's 81% though for the Dallas Fuel. In a, in a position where you're going to need like two fights, I think, to flip this and win. Katuna Rush thrown down. Edison quickly getting away. He knows the rest of his team are also... He doesn't have a great angle, Mitch. Not now that the fight has been taken where... Oh! What is that? That is unhealthy! How did he hit that? Where? Long range across the map, full charge. Just the way you like it. Violet is a sound barrier here. Gonna have to... Oh, okay! Not gonna be able to get it in time. The Shock looks like they might be grouping up for another fight come back. Dallas does flip the point. This one might be a photo finish, Matthew. And I was wondering if you're Violet, do you consider using the beat, keeping that one going? Maybe you're able to get it up to 90%. But they decide to save the sound barrier. They back out. Last fight territory. Kitsune Rush versus sound barrier, at least in the beginning. Here it comes. Fielder lays it down, sound barrier there from Violet, but Mikey, but Proper, there's bubbles in the way. Still Proper's gonna come forward, but it's only gonna be the one. Here come the Dallas Fuel. They're mad, and you better believe they're hungry. It's an unbelievable regular season for the Shock, right? No tournament wins throughout the year, which is a little bit different uh, than in years past, but You'll, uh, you'll trade some of those other tournaments for a win here. All of them an important step in this team developing themselves for the live environment. Dallas here playing pretty passive, pretty out of line of sight for the time being. Looks like the Alderworth Hotel is the choice of battleground now for the Shock. Trying to force Dallas away, hoping to bait them in by the looks of things here. Oh, Fielder! <laughs> okay then! That's a kunai lobotomy for your boy Proper! Well, it's some damage that comes down from Chio. I was mentioning in map number one, a little bit more offensive, aggressive than Violet. He's actually up on the wall. He actually lands some shots, and then Fielder puts him away with a headshot. This allows Dallas now to establish their front line a little further forward, at least for now. 
hope to generate another pick here and set the shock further back, but San Francisco are disciplined. Proper approach to the point with plenty of charge to work with here. Just a lack of targets for the time being. Dallas playing extremely cagey around this railgun. Phyllis has the touch though, and here come the fuel out behind that bubble. Disrupt the shot thrown down so no one can close the gap easily. A lot of poke damage, a lot of chip damage coming across the map. That's a railgun miss for Edison and Sparkle. He's in strike his eyes. And the light and Chios just went out. Yeah, is uh, the Dallas Fuel, they get a little bit split there. So the disruptor shot from Proper goes into the choke. You see him walking through here and it splits off the supports and Edison and they're not able to actually get through the choke. Fearless actually has a touch of point with Sparkle. They both take loads of damage, not enough opportunity to heal that all back up. And the shock take the point. Clean open there, you see Dallas still a little bit unsure about how to have a consistent defensive hold with this setup. Okay, Finn. Geo there, forced to respect that. A little bit of a Teru-esque foray. Yeah, some of the Karikos, instead of using the TP, you know, as kind of safety, if they get dove, using him way more offensively to get out of harm's way. Edison here having to swing out from this corner. Glancing blow connects on proper. He's close to his overclock as well. Kitsune Rush coming in. Here we go. Striker, pretty conservative at the start of the fight. Not getting too close to the back line here. Mikey's Primal Rage. He's get burnt to a crisp. Very dangerous place to be if the Winston and the Shock just teeter too close to the edge. Dallas does end up using their sound barrier to come out and win that as well, though. So for the Shock, you do have a little bit of an advantage, right? Uh, I think there's an opportunity for them to you know, use overclock, use that sound barrier, push them back. And there's really you know, not a lot of ways that Dallas Hill can keep everybody protected. Back to the drawing board here for the Shock. Uh-oh. Sparkles in hiding. He's, well, in a position to do some damage here, but there's a sound barrier in time. This one for Viola, one he was looking for. Chio gets cut down. Flying a little too close to the sun. Here it is, Edison Proper continuing the trade out here, San Francisco. On the opposite side of the map for the Dallas Fuel here is that disengagement was able to put them on opposite sides. Been connected with Sparkle there, and this is looking much better for San Francisco. They're able to wrap around on Dallas there, and losing Chio early means Dallas had nowhere to go. Yeah, and Dallas does a good job actually extending that fight, making it a little bit more difficult than one would think. The go sign, though, for the shock there is as soon as the Dallas will end up using that protection Suzu of Kariko, you know, giving everybody that brief moment of, I uh, you know, invulnerability. As soon as that wears off, that's when the shock know that they can attack pretty safely. Scott's well and truly on the move now. Two minutes 50 still left in the round for the shock. Didn't spend too much time snarled up in that choke. It's a good sign. Sparkle and Fearless again, just trying to hold the shock at bay. And now Edison. They're playing for this Kitsune Rush. They actually just form it up now. Finn has his... Oh! I uh, mean, not matter now. What an opener there from Edison. And the Shark headed upstairs. <laughs> They'll be regrouping, licking their wounds for a bit. Uh, and we talk about how important Sojourn is in the meta, and I think obviously everybody can see why. Uh, especially moments like this, being able to get those early pickoffs, this just eats at the clock the Shark have to attack. San Francisco, no choice but to regroup. Can't do too much about a fully charged railgun headshot. Big things TP happen. There. Okay, Mikey redirected there up to the high ground. Katuna Rush now coming out from Thin Fielder reciprocating. Edison playing off of the side for the time being, but Striker steps up, forces him away. Now the sidelines aren't great for Edison, but Fielder's able to fire one on proper. Striker with the sound barrier, looking pretty comfortable coming forward, but a lack of play here in the San Francisco shock. Most of the damage now needs to come from Striker's direction. Mikey. Dispersing these Dallas Fuel players, pressuring Edison up to the high ground, but Sparkle strikes into the back line, stepping up. Okay, strike oh, a death he goes for he it. Caught Fielder. Sparkle has the right walk, though he's able to avoid that for the time being. And Edison has the overclock that seals the deal. Yeah, and I think when uh, you actually have the Death Blossom come out from Striker, I mean, I was a little bit shocked. I thought potentially saves that, but he ends up using it. That's when Edison decides to pop the overclock. Yeah, and here it is. Get some damage down. Oh, oh. That is exquisite. And look, a, a tough for Striker there as well. He's not really where he wants to be. He's not within the Sojourn's vicinity. He's not within the Kiriko's vicinity. He just has to go for a death. This is going to be so tough for the Shock, man. No support ultimates, just this overclock available. It's up Shield's to got sound barrier. Sound barrier for proper. No, those insta kills are hard to come by with that overshield on your opponents. 
The shock now down to sub 40 seconds left. And they're on the wrong side of the map. This could get a little bit awkward. Can Striker break his way through? Is there enough time for Proper to get back? Neither of those look to be likely here. I think Edison to, can wrap. I think you need to die fast here if you're the shock. Yeah. I mean, you need to die fast. You need to reset. This could be dangerous. Dangerous! And we see Proper right there, like sliding on in. You can't do that against a team like the Dallas Fuel. They are too good and too fast at capitalizing on mistakes like that. Five seconds left in the round. Even a touch is going to be pretty brutal to get. Violet speeding his way forward, but Edison shuts it down. And the shock is denied overtime. That's dirty. <laughs> oh. Sparkle has so much fun on the <laughs> stage, man. It's a Violet's opportunity to touch there. Comes bouncing off the wall on the Lucio. Gets his head ripped off there by Edison. Again, with only five seconds left in the round, their one chance was the Lucio touch. And it just so happened that Edison had a, a railgun with Violet's name on it. Not an auspicious showing here from San Francisco's attack on King's Row. I'd be nervous if I was them now on defense. It's scary because defense on King's Row, like, it's not a great Winston defense map at here, at least on point A. I think when you get towards the second half of the map, it's way better, as here we see it from Violet's POV. Mind his own business. Oh. It seems I misplaced my head somewhere along the line. Lucio's body, like, flips, like, 30 feet. All right. So I think it's pretty clear here, San Francisco definitely need to eat through some of the clock on this first point hold. Not that we're expecting a full hold here. It's tough with a Winston defense, but that's their first step. Very difficult to hold, full hold on Winston defense here. Uh, just you know, his, his kit and like the dive nature of it just Ooh. doesn't really suit King's Row point day. I think you can do obviously way more things once you get past there, but this is very difficult to full hold this composition because look, I mean, doesn't have like a shield, like a Sigma or a Reinhardt, right? Has to kind of play here in the open. Okay, Fearless has already gone upstairs. And he can just hit the back line like this. In the meantime, the Shocker trying to reciprocate. Put pressure down on Dallas's back line, but Fearless somehow appears in the midst of the Shock as they try and come forward. They lose out on the damage trades, but they're able to be topped up just in time by Finn. They're trying to keep this position around the statue and Prophet's gonna help them out in a big way there. Great shot on Sparkle. And those are the types of fights the Shock want to do. Uh, you know, I, I think against a lot of other teams, right? You know, Proper can use that dash, get in, maybe get a pick. I think it's just too risky against this team. I think you've got to have him play a little bit more patient. Wait for Fearless to kind of come to you. And then we, uh, we saw on Lee Zhang, right? Beautiful help from Violet. Striker as well. And then it makes his life a bit easier. But right, it's got time and he'll return the investment. A trade here. Sparkles down, but Proper crucially is missing. Striker and Mikey now need to be the bulwark to stop the flood of the fuel. So far, not so bad here. Mikey taking a moderate amount of damage, but Finn's able to top him up. They're close to Kitsune Rush, but Fuel is going to have these first. The Fuel wait on it for now, but now they approach the point. Fearless first. Edison not far behind. Bundled into the hotel now. Are oh, the shock? They need to make their explosion fourth here. The Winston bubble in the way. A little bit frustrating, and Mikey goes down to disrupt the shot. Edison doesn't need this overclock. The sound barrier from Violet. It's just too late. Yes, I think I think the shock, their best, you know, may have been just backing up a little bit. Everybody takes so much damage. You have to play aggressive around that pillar to try and prevent that sojourn from getting that line of sight and forcing you back into that choke. So you have to play up there, but you back out, you know, towards the rest of your team. Maybe you have to take a like a little bit, maybe go in right as it's about to tip over. Spark long card duty. Again, being a close-range fighter, his team will fall back to the car. Okay, now he'll get to go forward. The Shock want to play on this corner. They need Proper to be able to swing this and have a bit of space to linger and try and line a shot up. Only a semi-jump there from Mikey. Not a full commitment, but it's a primal rate here for Fearless. This is a little bit scary now. Yep, Finn taken down by Fielder. The disruption! The Shock are suffering. They cannot get their ducks in a row. And for the Dallas Hill, it's hunting season. And you can see, like, when we go to Edison's POV, just the face, you know, so confident coming out of these fights. Edison, you know, two kills, three they kills so sometimes. Yeah. 
as they, they want to stop this you know, comeback right before you know, they can even make it back towards that checkpoint B. You have Sparkle with the Death Blossom. So maybe he can get a little bit sneaky. As, uh, looks like he's lurking. Okay. Early Death Blossom looks pretty good. Mikey able to trade, but it's going to be a three versus four favoring the fuel. They're happy to fall back now and let much of this Primal Rage expire. I don't know what Mikey's hoping to find with this. You'll Getting back to his team safely? That, that, that tree is good. I mean, he's trying to get the health pack. Then get out with his life. It's dicey. They're trying to chase him. The Shock have one more chance on this map now. They need to group up. They have the players in position, and now it's go time. It's proper it's one striker, but the ladder is taken down before the fight can begin. Edison surgically, surgically removes him from the rest of his team. They're trying to wait out the overclock. Proper's using the overclock. That's a huge pick. Striker at the Death Blossom. Now the Kitsune Rush, they can go. Striker will come back here yeah, with that Death Blossom. Never had a chance to use it. And the Shock are able to hold on somehow, but now it's go time. We got Rhodes converging here at Dallas Fuel. Want to try and hit another gear. Bubble now down, throw another one up. Sparkle is going to be removed by Striker. That Death Blossom, he held it in reserve and it pays off. San Francisco, hang on. Two and a half minutes remain. They say not just yet. Striker, I think uh, he may think somebody else is behind. He does not want to, you know, after some of the things we saw in point one, first the map, he does not want to give up a back cap here. Can't blame the guy. Clock only just now starting to get bled. Really late in the round for San Francisco to put some stops together. They have the sound barrier at least to answer Chios. Probably what? get aggressive. Will this be his demise? No, it's actually Striker winning that frontline fight yet again. Dallas now want to group up around Edison, hope that he can create an opening, and so he does. Violet the only elimination so far, and that's not going to cut the mustard. Much better. Now it starts to get dangerous for the Dallas Fuel. It's a really difficult spot. The payload is stuck in some natural high ground cover around there for the shock to play from. You see it from Edison's POV, kind of coming around these corners. Can't really figure out where players are playing from. Makes it very difficult to land these railgun shots. The Fearless Primal as well is going to make it even harder to line them up. Keep an eye on that. This proper will hope to find some picks with this overclock. And Fearless, he's stuck into the back line. They weren't ready for this. And here he goes now. Primal Rage being popping. Edison goes down. Proper finds that key first pick. Fearless now, unsure about how to hit this back line adequately. Popper gonna slide away and Fearless can't chase him down. It's Chio the second on the chopping block. And Proper don't uh -oh. miss. Make it three. Your MVP is turned up. Three kills for Proper in the fight. 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Kitsune rush for both times, but look at how Look how further Violet is towards this sound barrier where I think you kind of like everything equals out across the board here. Shock also with Primal Rage. That extra sound barrier could be clutch. Oh, they oh, get aggressive. They go, they go first, go early here. Fielder actually, they go for the Katsuna Rush. They bait this. They're happy to trade the Primal, I feel. Yeah, Mikey has to use Primal Rage. Yeah, they end up getting their Katsuna Rush out and Fielder, you know, you have no way to use this if you're the Dallas Fuel. Seems like a good trade. 80% to beat. San Francisco are gonna have the support ultimates. Surely they can make this hold happen. 12 seconds left in the round. Sparkle has that death blossom, but Edison! It's lights out! And Proper now going for the overclock. Who dares stand up and challenge him now? The Fuel have no choice. Throw themselves into the meat grinder and ground they become. Fearless gets a Suzu there trying to stay alive, but Proper hits another headshot. And the San Francisco Shock have held off. The Dallas Fuel! Your ability to access high ground or, or transition from low to high, though, a little bit limited. As Tracer, you need to go sort of around. So I'm curious to see how Sparkle overcomes that. Maybe just trying to control this high ground here, right? Dash across at the top of the rooftop pretty comfortably. Fearless wants to start off the fight pretty early. Fielder a little bit low. He's seen better days, and Violet gives him a case of tinnitus. He won't forget. Good opener for San Francisco. This is such a good sign. Playing attack into high ground defensive holds with Winston on this map typically take time. Yeah, they slide directly across. They get up on that opposite side high ground. And then when Dallas Fuel jump in, it's a protection Shuju that comes down from Finn. A lot of healing output, right? You see how far he is ahead toward that Kasuni rush. And that's going to have Sparkle switch right off the Tracer. Seen this happen a few times. Teams trying their Tracer early, switching right off of it. Mikey wants to start the fight off here. He baits out that disruptor shot and will still give Edison a little bit of a zone with which to work. He rounds the card, sees Striker going to Wraith Walk here. He'll wait. He's got the patience. He fires off there. A bit of an erratic shot, hoping to make some connection. 
Uh, Reaper doubling back here. I like this from Sparkle protecting Edison from Mikey. As Mikey takes a ton of damage and you know, not able to make it out with his life. I believe he gets booped out of that Winston bubble, knocked up in the air, finished off. So uh, the shock, they make decent payload progress, get very close. Oh, what? oh wait, oh, wait! Hey. That's huge, Matt! Uh, they, they, they might have thought that he didn't have enough charge to get that one shot, because you need about above 85 to get that one shot nailed down. 5v4, this is perfect for San Francisco. If they want Kitsune Rush, they can have it here too. Mikey heads up. Edison forced into the corridor and somehow... Excuse me! The car. I didn't know that Charles IX was issued a front row seat here in the finals. Yeah, throughout all of that, it'll be the Shock actually completing the first checkpoint. So Edison with that overclock tries to bounce up. I think Dallas knows that playing this composition, they gotta play close. So you back them up into the spawn, may as well play close up, get everybody to try and dump some ultimates in. I mean, Dallas are here anyway, right? They're yeah. pretty well committed already to a pseudo spawn camp endeavor. Okay, that's a little bit of a scary side. Nice little backswing with the Primal Rage Fist there, putting Striker in a position where it's hard to get value out of the Death Blossom. Sparkle trying to do the same thing. Proper just lines him up. Remember, Reaper a little less mobile in that form. It's an easier target to knock down. And Proper knows, Proper knows how to hit him with a hurt. And it was actually a really early sound barrier there by Violet. And I actually think it catches Dallas Fuel off guard a little bit because they use the sound barrier, then they start to push up. They use the Katsune Rush last. So uh, catches them off guard a little bit. Is Difficult sometimes, you know, even at this level to tell how much charge that Sojourn has on that rail shot. Proper jumps around the corner, kills Sparkle, and that allows him to take that first checkpoint. Strike having to race walk to the back line here. Not the way that the Shock want to start the fight here, but Dallas did a lot of damage on Fearless and Chio. Chio is in trouble. Proper is probing, hunting, waiting for the Lucio to show his head. It's a game of cat and mouse here. Oh, no! It's a true Apex Predator! He's shaking his head like no and just laughing. I mean, the guy is unreal. Guy, just try me, he says. Bring me another. You couldn't even see him. Well charged up his proper now. He's happy to go to the high ground fielder. Has to swift step away. Edison has able to plug one in striker. The proper has the perfect perch play now. Dallas are able to take up residence once more towards the car. Ma massive kill there by Edison. T it takes out striker. And when they were trying to play for high ground access here, you, know, you, can't, you can't allow the dive to come through when you've lost your Reaper, right? Uh, you need the Reaper up there on the high ground to deter the Dallas Fuel from taking it again. So big kill by Edison to maybe stabilize the Dallas Fuel a bit. Proper 6-0 and o right now. 6-0. and o. Absolutely popping off. This is where it counts. Fearless trying to extricate himself from what would otherwise have been a sticky situation, but the sound barrier expires as he floats down and looks for his next target. Mikey's out of the picture now. Sparkle's able to dispatch the broad body of the Winston and Proper now under scrutiny. Fearless flattens him. Sound barrier used there by the Shock. They try and push out out of that corridor, and we kind of see, like, from the free camp, Mikey really kind of calling out which target they're going to go for. They die for a target in the back. The Katsune Rush comes on in. I don't think they may have thought the Dallas Hill had that at that moment in time. Shock now want to make their way at least towards some semi-high ground. You're, you're going to see them take this route with where the payload is and that the, high ground. It's the quickest here. route, right? Yeah, it, it's the quickest route, also the safest route. Oh! <laughs> Maybe not that safe. Edison delighting our attendance here. Now without proper, this looks a little bit awkward. The Shock sheepishly trying to back away. Can you bait them in though? Okay, so Dallas doesn't chase. I was going to say, if you're the Shock, what you could have done here is like backed out, right? And if they would have chased, you actually could have consumed rush right into them. They yeah. don't have beat or anything. Uh, you still have your Reaper up as that battering ram. Still a big risk. Chio now has that beat pretty much yeah. online. That part of the playbook, that page getting torn out. Striker close with Death Blossom here, combining it with the Kitsune Rush. Could be pretty meteoric. Primal Rage from Mikey, he's found something upstairs. He wants a piece of it. Edison's able to force him away. They want Mikey, he's low, low, low. Trying to get away. Needs to be healed up. Finn now going to throw the Kitsune Rush down. Extra healing output for his tank to keep him in the fight. And here comes Striker. Spinning straight at the fuel. And they don't have an answer. As soon as Reaper gets that a limb, triggers that DPS passive in the Kitsune Rush, it is so strong. Stacking Re speed boost, man. The speed boost plus the reload, and then also the Death Blossom. Reaper also has the lifesteal. He becomes so difficult to take out in those scenarios.
Phyllis trying to assert himself early here. Just does not want to let the shot get the jump on them and get on that bridge. Uh, you, you can't allow Proper to establish high ground, right? Because if you do, he's 100% charged, hits a shot. Now you're, you're looking at one fight from preventing them from completing the map. You've got to keep him in these tight viewing angles if you possibly can. Edison hoping to dig him out of formation there. Much of Dallas playing on the low ground as well. It's really just going to be Edison transitioning between the two, trying to find a vantage. Kitsune rush here. The big point of difference ultimate-wise. Primal Rage also up for Fearless. I think both teams are content, just kind of poking for some damage here. Uh, this looks more than just content. This looks hungry. Proper. Famish. Looking for Edison now, trying to track as he drops down. Fearless going to go with the Kitsune rush and Sparkle wants the surge forward. The San Francisco shot getting overwhelmed here. Forced to play into the low ground. Mikey trying to bail him out of this stairwell. Sparkle yeah, they, they gives it up. Yeah, they don't want to push in. They're scared that maybe there's like a Kitsune Rush coming on back. Is the Shocker stuck in a really weird spot outside in that what courtyard. Proper takes an off angle. They go to the high ground here. They're trying to what? go around the fuel. Kitsune Rush from behind. The Dallas fuel now forced away from the card. They have to contest on top they of Fitz the Ultimate. Map. Disrupt the shot thrown up here. Flipping the map scene's fire when you have control of the card. Striker wants them to come forward. He's baiting them, daring them, cajoling them. Have a chance to use a Death Blossom as they run at him. Seems the huge. Move You've got to do something about this. San Francisco is stealing this card away. And Fielder goes down. It's going to be a Sound Mariotti for four. What? Points, Sparkle's there with three. And he bails out the fuel again. The payload's so close to finishing the map. 10 a, seconds. A little bit more than a meter. Mikey's got a Primal Rage. Possibly can touch. He gets a jump reset on Primal. Over he goes. Gonna have a private tete a tete with Sparkle. Eventually the rest of the fuel are gonna get back there, but overtime has been triggered. Mikey goes over, but he's taking too much damage. Too much damage. How does he get out of this? Can they keep him alive is the big question. Mikey's spending some time out of the fight now while the rest of the shock try and touch. They're cycling in, keeping overtime going. Proper They're trying to the get back. beat. He's here on the tracer. This is a big change for him. Fielder now. The Kitsune Rush and Edison's able to find Mikey Proper now trying to duel on the card. Trying to keep this alive. Couple of shock players left, but Sparkle gets rid of Strike. They get Sound Barrier. The big guns are down. Violet Sound Barrier is just not going to be enough here. That's as far as the Shock are going to get. King's Row ends with a tremendous defense from the Shock. And they start to bring some of that momentum here into Dorado. And that play by Sparkle is massive. Because they don't think they expected that, right? The shot come around on a little bit of a flank. They take that high ground. They consider rush. They force him around the corner. The payload is moving backwards away from the fuel. Sparkle with that Death Blossom connects with three players. It's actually a brilliant maneuver by San yeah. Francisco. It's yeah, really I mean, smart. If you want to force a fight, <laughs> you want to force an engagement from your opponents, stand on the objective. Uh, Dallas were at serious risk of that cart just riding off into the sunset without them. That kind of adaptation, that kind of response time. Yeah, that's the hallmark of uh, champions here in the Overwatch League. This is how it goes down. Like, it's a mess. Yeah, the Shock are actually trying to get, just get the payload over, I mean, 0.82 meters. Trying to get it over the line. And uh, they have that Winston bubble down, and Sparkle ends up inside of it with the Death Blossom. And Striker and Mikey, they're playing so close together. They have to in that type of situation. He gets both. Okay. San Francisco uh, on the attack able to unravel this high ground pretty effectively. Dallas hope to repeat that. The shotgun defense don't opt to go with the Tracer. We see uh, a bunch of teams go for the Tracer. Striker can play it. Uh, in theory, you would love to see proper on that. We're with the Sojourn in the mix. You're not going to see him drop that hero. Maybe an extra layer of defense there for proper. Striker just will wait for Fearless to step up and challenge. So you're not going to be able to play as aggressive, let's say, for the Shock, right? If you had the Tracer in the mix. But you can, Bingo! You can deter some of this action up on the high ground here. You see how they try and put pressure on a proper? They have the Reaper right in the mix. The Winston can't kind of hold that position for that long. And you see right there, Fearless jumps up, doesn't have the bubble, no protections. You, uh, you're just going to fall, right? 
So that's like one of the differences between the Tracer defense setup. Reaper really has a staying power, right? If you can stay out of line of sight of the enemy sojourn, yeah. helps if they're dead, by the way. Almost you think can... of it in the way that teams used to play like the Brigitte on the high ground here at a certain time. Yeah, Toronto to protect, did that a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, protect the sojourn in scenarios like that, as Reaper is really used as like a protective DPS here for the sojourn. There's a window there for Dallas to punish properly. <laughs> oh man, he's giving it to him. Got the K9 internally, this one. Bro, <laughs> look at that look on the guy's face. It's like he's playing at home. He is so calm for a rookie. What is MVP this? in the finals? Brawl star, by the way, that make that three yeah. accolades. Why not win? Okay, charge rail oh, here nice. was available. Fearless redirected. Yeah, that was really nice. I'd be afraid of what's to come here. If you are the fuel, proper preparing to unleash. Happy to take the fight to the choke. He's got decent lanes to fire through. Disrupt the shot. Okay, the fuel trying to close the gap a little bit here, but they're being careful about it. Suzu already has to be used, and here comes the Katsune rushes from both sides. Proper charged up, ready to go. Trying to find purchase on a target, but the Soundberry here for the Dallas Fuel makes it hard to get a kill. A nice headshot there, but Sparkle picks him out of the sky. Fearless holds him aloft and allows his teammate to get the deed done. Oh, but maybe is not. In. He's found two. And Fearless is out of here. That is such a huge win for the Shark. Support ults used on both sides. They're able to get to proper early. So he plays some crazy angles. I mean, getting right up in the mix. Time is ticking, 90 seconds left in the round. Edison with an overclock here, trying to take Destiny in his own hands. Trying to find anybody. The Shock are gone, they've absconded. They've run away. Playing up on the high ground now. There'll have to be a re-engagement from them here. They can't just let this happen. The boom, the boom! <laughs> they gave up the point! A miscalculation cost the Shock a win here and now. Uh, they're just a second late on going in to recontest. The jump needed to be a little bit earlier there from Mikey and the Shock because you knew that boop was going to come through or some form of displacement. And you would have had like the Reaper to TP there right on top of the bubble or something like that to be able to kind of keep that contested. Huge turn of events. Sigh of relief here for the Dallas Fuel. That was a stay of execution. Now they're trying to, again, assume this pretty far forward high ground position. Proper knows he has to assert himself pretty quickly here. Oh, oh, he gets pooped down! He's trying to jump away, but Fearless! Once he's got his teeth into him, he won't let go! That is stunning from Chio. Now, what's the follow-up looking like? Not too shabby. Mikey out of the picture here. Edison has all the room he needs. Spike is, um, Strike is going to be forced back from the front line here, invariably. Yeah, Violet ends up using the beat there, and they just try and push up. Maybe try and find a kill or two. That's huge! Striker! That's huge! Three! What a way to make up for lost time. And to think, just a few months ago, Stryker not on this team. It's a late addition, right? No, you're wondering, like, how is Kilo? How does Sam fit in this team? They bring in Stryker. And you think it's probably play like something like the Tracer, but the Reaper is Reaper, you know, back in the day in the boss, surprising the Shock as well in the past. So strong. Proper took over the Sojourn role. He says, no, I'm going to do this too. What they say? Want it done right? Do it yourself. Another nice one there for Stryker. Headlining. In the last couple of moments, Fearless does not want to touch down there. He'll skate across the rooftops. And just like how the Dallas Fuel played a little bit close, tried to spawn camp a bit. The Shock doing the same thing. This fight is going to be very difficult for San Francisco. Lots of good key ultimates for the, the Fuel. Katuna Rush used pretty much straight away. Mikey trying to make it hard for Dallas to benefit from that, but Sparkle, you better believe, he's taking these Hellfire shotguns to the bank. Striker lucky to get away there. It'll be on the car with a sliver of health. That was a wash. They don't even have to use sound barrier there. Just the continue rush in. Mikey's got primal, pops it, and he is just chunked down instantly by the Hellfire shotguns of the Reaper. So I think you're going to have one more contest here, though, for San Francisco. It's still dangerous. Dallas able to snowball some ultimate advantage now. Edison wants to play forward. I don't blame the guy. Mikey getting an absolute licking. No way to survive that. And here comes Sparkle, bowls them over. Yeah, it's the overclock and the death blossom used there for the Dallas Fuel to 
take our second checkpoint. Essentially, with how close the shock got, it's, a, it's about a map completion. You know, point, point 0.83 meters, right? Essentially, you need to just beat that by a little bit. It's essentially a full map completion with two minutes on the clock. Not going to be an easy task. Until now, Five had a sound barrier coming up, Matt. That's off the table. Proper under scrutiny, intense pressure now. As Edison's trying to pick him out, Mikey's large figure gets in the way. And Striker's doing work. Mikey buying enough time there. The numbers will favor Dallas, though. They'll get some progress here. You're going to buy about 15, 25 seconds here of time off that clock. You're the shock. You just cannot afford to have anybody drop early to one of these railgun shots. Probably looking to have another moment here. This is scary, though. He swings this too wide, and he's going to be in a world of hurt. Here they go. Bubble thrown down in front of him. Fearless is going to be in his face. Proper strikes first. No field. It goes by the wayside. Katsune Rush used here now with the shock. Have all the advantages they need. Very clean fight. Yeah, and that's a beat use there as well. And the scary thing is, is because of where the payload is and where it needs to get to, the defender's advantage is so strong in the respawn, right? The, it's so close there on Torado. See how far the offense has to travel to make it there. They've lost so much time in doing Shot so. with a big advantage. You play close, right? You need, you want them to use ultimates here early, and Fearless uses Primal. Yep. He needs to make some kind of space. He's happy to trade ultimates for that, but in the meantime, the needle is threaded in sparkle. Yep. Laid out. You have to back up, so now you just use that Primal and got nothing with it. Mikey is going to have the Primal as well. Maybe you use it here. This is getting ugly. Mikey keeps probing forward. Dallas don't know how to deal with this level of aggression. They keep getting caught on the back foot. They're going to have to go here. What is it? Death Blossom from Striker. I can't believe it. Addison tries to go over a proper catches him in midair. Now this could go wrong for the Shock. They need to regroup here together. And so they do. I love that. The mid fight, hard to pull that kind of regroup off. The Kitsune Rush is used it. Mikey's actually in, in a really difficult spot. He's going to make it out. Okay. Here's a rover. Oh no! Sparkles Death Blossom! It wilts before the fuel's eyes! And Dallas are out of options, are out of time! They're out of players! San Francisco! Take Dorado! As it is all business on the fuel side of things. Well, business ain't great right now, so you want to hope so. Business ain't booming on the fuel side of stuff. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our fourth map in this first of four series. Esperanza is about to kick off. And I like this position that Mikey's gotten early. It makes it very costly just positionally for the Dallas Fuel. It's love actually that. push on in, he gives it up, he actually goes in pretty deep. Yeah, I love that dive, put that pressure on Edison, deny that off angle now. Dallas are all forced to group up around Edison to protect him now. They give up a lot of space, and that's what allows Proper to start moving the bot, to start to wrap around. That was a sitter there on Chio. He almost had him, but in the meantime, they've lost Mikey. Proper not able to convert on the space he's given there. San Francisco have to give up the ghost pretty quick. See, for me, I actually I actually think the play there is for Mikey to actually hold that position. You have to, because then it forces the Reaper and the Winston around that corner. That allows Proper to nail some shots, disrupt their shot. You can actually shoot right in that cubby, right on top of Mikey. Yeah. Make it costly in terms of HP pools. Dallas would have had to back out, and then you dive. I think, I think once you get that position to dive in right away, you give up that advantage that you worked hard to earn. High ground now for Dallas. That's there. Prize for being able to push to this first little choke here. Finn Suzu thrown down there. Edison hoping to capitalize and follow. Not able to come up with anything just yet. The bot will stall out under the bridge for the time being here. Dallas want to regroup for a moment. shio has got to be so careful. I like that wall riding shot. on top of those bubbles. <laughs> Dallas get forced back around the corner here. They want to dive in. No Kitsune Rush now is going to spur them forward. Mikey trying to take to the sky, but he drops to the ground lifeless. It's an easy one for Sparkle. And here goes the bot. Still on the move. San Francisco now have to make something happen with four. Yeah, I mean, you have Mikey coming back off spawn. This map is way bigger than a lot awkward. of the other push maps. Awkward, awkward stuff here. Chio there disrupting the shock as they try and line up and use his high ground to their advantage, but they've found nothing so far. Not even a rail, not even a lick of damage. Here they come, though. Kitsune Rush! And they're dancing among the cobblestones. And 
Fearless tries to jump up to the high ground. Uh, you know, maybe to get the Shock players off of there. Gets booped down by Finn. And Shio actually tries to you know, dislodge the members of the Shock from that high ground as well. Gets a boop, knocks them down. But you see this staircase behind Proper. You're able to access it again so fast. Proper still wants to go for this, despite taking that hit there for medicine. <gasps> Careful, Proper. Really trusting Finn there to keep him topped up. This is the kind of sideline he wants. And you see Fearless is trying to interrupt it now with a Primal Rage. He actually jumps away. Maybe looking to pressure Finn down for the time being, but this lets Proper reassume this high ground position. Someone has to challenge this if Vilas turns up just to deny the high ground. It's classy stuff, but in the meantime, they've lost Edison. Mikey's getting value for this primal mat. Oh, and the beat's not in time to be able to save Edison. Shio actually uses the sound barrier there. You get almost nothing for it. Awesome! Oh, this is so good for San Francisco. Mikey using that displacement from the Winston but a dive to actually knock the enemy Reaper away. Sparkle's Death Blossom essentially gets shut down. Now the shock is starting to put it together. Still, pretty good progress from the Dallas Fuel. Not even halfway through this game of push. 53 meters for the Dallas Fuel. The shock will get it going. Do the shock decide to push up? They actually have to kind of like hold the bot here and they hold this high ground. Again, that's something Fearless wants to deny, especially from Proper. They need to try and control his position, but in the meantime, there goes the mobility for San Francisco. Proper needs to back away again, but now his ability to regroup with this team will be compromised. It doesn't matter, though! He plants his feet and says, I'm here to stay! Fielder can go home instead. Bro, that is just dirty! And, 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 and Edison actually takes out Mikey on the other side of things. This Proper still has some charge. Fearless just trying to hold on to this bot. I tell you what, though, uh, if Proper gets that first kill. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and he pushes up. He slot with the overclock. He slides into a Reaper to try and take out Sparkle. I mean, that aggressive is something we do not see from a lot of other players. Dallas don't quite get that checkpoint by the looks here, so the shot can get ahead here. They're close two meters away. Here comes the Katsune Rush from both sides. Striker wants to reposition to wherever Fearless is going to turn up, and he goes to work with the Hellfire shotguns. Fearless is down to half here, but he's able to get away, get some space for the time being. Violet's going to get blossom. beat. Violet's going to get beat here. And he lets it go. Only on to three, though. Mikey's already taken down, but proper evens the score. Fearless and Chio. Brought to their knees and make it three, why don't you? It's all about proper there. Fielder can't do much more but find a kill on the way out. And there's your first checkpoint. San Francisco, nail it. In time and time again, we've actually seen the Shock able to come up with a sound barrier a bit earlier than the Dallas Fuel in a lot of these key fights. And something like Violet's been doing all season long, able to get these sound barriers so fast. Right now, getting it at an average of, you know, a minute and 48. Or Chio on the other side, you know, he's been holding it. I uh, you know had, he's working his way towards another one now, but two minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, it's so fast getting these sound barriers for the shock. Violet's having a great game, by the way, doubling up Chio's healing. And Proper is there again. Edison just has to cop that one sweet. Take another crack at it next time. Every time that happens, you just feel like a little bit of the soul is just drained out of the Dallas fuel. It's just so disheartening to try and push up and see those railgun shots come up result in those big kills. And Proper still hungry. He'll have his cut of flesh here. Oh, Chio! You best get up early if you want to come with the king like that! And make it another! Bring me more, says Proper! Fearless is eventually able to neutralize him, but the damage may already been done. A fielder uses the Katsune Rush here. This might work out. Mikey's under a lot of pressure here. Dallas are trying to establish a foothold, and they spin dearly in order to do so. Uh, so... Dallas has to invest extremely heavy here. And they still don't even have the bot going in their direction. Finn's going to use his continue rush. You have Striker with a Death Blossom coming around the corner. Or you can run. Oh, they get out so fast. Great disengage from Dallas. That was Sound Barrier and Katsune Rush there from the Shock. The Fuel is still giving up bot progress here, though. Eventually, oh. they need to actually be able to move the objective back. So although Dallas pushes up pretty far, they don't have the checkpoint. So the bot actually stops at that checkpoint That's right. for an extended period. And with three minutes on the clock, you think you just burn clock here. It's going to be tough for the fuel to push up. Edison finds the overclock here to break the deadlock. But Proper, what is his flank? What is his audacity? Proper knows where his bread's buttered here. He's definitely made a statement. Dallas will get control of the bot. 
It takes a while. But with that close spawn, you're going to be able to challenge this really early for San Francisco. Proper accounts for 13 of 22 of San Francisco's final blows right now. I don't need to spell it out to you. So I like this position that the Fuel are in. The issue is, is they have to be the more aggressive team. They're going to try for that too. Kituna Rush now is going to be thrown down. Finn is a long way away from that one. And perhaps that pick on Mikey will do the trick. Bot's going to be moving pretty quickly back through this choke, Matt. No primal, no support ults. No way you're going to keep him up. Is this got to be checkpoint. Yep, that'll be the checkpoint here for the Dallas Fuel as they'll get that close spawn now. A brief interlude here, a chance to take the breath as the, the bot removes rust from the crevasses. Okay, proper trying for the overclock. The sound barrier might be a little bit of a wrinkle in that plan though. He's forced back and here comes Sparkle. He'll have his due. And this puts Dallas in striking distance now of Shock's total. They're gonna get there, Matt. It'll be the Dallas Fuel taking the lead here. Dallas has to use everything though to make that happen. Still a decent amount of time left in this game. Oof, 90 seconds. <laughs> It's ticking down, Matt, real quick. The, the bot will go pretty fast in the shock's direction. Is what a Suzu! Be... What a oh, save on proper! Huge. Finn. Absolutely incredible there. Eventually he's going to be brought down, though. He was so far forward anyway. Strike is found three in this fight, though, and he's still hungry. Sees Edison try and go upstairs, and Striker instead puts him in the ground! That, that is such a huge fight win for San Francisco because they don't have to use any ultimates to make that happen. What Dallas wants there is to kind of get as much progress as possible, force some ultimates out, burn clock. They don't really get it that much further. And then also they have a huge ultimate advantage. The bot's going to speed run its way back to that barrier. I think if you're Dallas, you've got to take a really early fight here. With what, I guess, is the question. What do they start this off with? They're trying to bait them around the corner for like a consumer. It worked. Look, yeah. they've gone over Fearless. Mike is able to get to the back line, but Striker thinks he actually wants to fight around the bot here. He doubles back. Dallas are able to disengage at least from the Kitsune rush. Edison playing very safe here. This sound barrier advantage, though, could be the difference. Edison, he doesn't want any of that smoke. Striker going to try and take the fight to the DPS. He opts to back away. Sparkle, not ready for this sound barrier now. Fielder has Kitsune rush available. Will he have a chance to use it? Geo, oh, he's in help. He needs... Needed someone to save him there. The Fuel are going to go without him though. Kituna Rush now is in play. Strikers trying to shut this down quickly, but they back away. Great spacing from Dallas here. Field Fields puts up a bubble. Proper on Edison is a big kill, make no mistake. Now in a three versus three. And Sparkle surges forward once more. He comes up with the goods. And that'll do it. Dallas even up the series. Now we have a game. Good rule back and forth stuff here. Again, proper 14 out of 29 of his team's final blows on the last map, continuing to be a headliner. So frightening even in map losses, but here come the fuel once more. We're up to the races on Oasis. And Violet on the Lucio, we talked about how fast building these sound barriers. Just need to get value out of a map. Right, yeah, I mean, it's great you're building them. You've got to make them high value. Edison here again, very safe place to start. Not charged up enough yet. Hard to even find opportunities to build charge. He actually concedes high ground here, but the disrupt the shot. Will give the shock pause for thought. In goes Mikey, bubble thrown down straight away. Edison has to make use of this safe angle for the time being here. Eventually someone's head is gonna swivel in his direction and Fielder is out at sea. Screeching Wilson as Mikey gobbles him up. As everybody pushes in there for San Francisco, and they get Sparkle really low at the star fielder as well. As Edison gets low, it'll be the point going to San Francisco first. So Edison's bizarre adventure, he ends up on the opposite side of the map going for the health pack here. Now Fielder was out of the picture. Dallas surged back into the point here. What, looking for a pick and what? what is this? The audacity of this man! The railgun is supposed to be used at range, not like a shotgun. He gets right up, and it's interesting, they've done that a few times. He slides up, gets right in Edison's face, and then the protection suit comes right down on top, where he has a second of invulnerability to land that shot, and it seems time and time again he does. When we say dive comp, we don't mean the whole team dives. Normally there's a component of the team that dives, and your sojourn will sit back. Proper, not about that life. Again, making sure the fuel know that he respects them none. Sound barrier available here early as well. 
for the shot. I think you just gotta use it and get more aggressive behind it. Yeah, that's what they decided to do. Primal here for Fearless. Again, trying to make it hard for Prophet to connect any shots. In the meantime, Edison has the room to work with. Striker goes down. Fearless has done his job, Matt. Yeah, that, that, is, that is exactly what you want to see out of your Winston in a meta like this. Sound barrier use. You think the Shark are going to get aggressive behind it? Primal rage use and just knocks proper out of line of sight of anybody. Shock get a pretty nice buffer here though. 56%. It really takes a while for Dallas to put it together as most of the fighting happened off the point. Here's the Katsune Rush though, which is the one kill on Violet. Should be enough to seal this up. Finn doesn't even bother going for his ultimate here. Mikey's primal was used. It's gonna be the waste. <laughs> okay, Edison. Issues a challenge mid-round. Yeah, and I wonder, you know, just kind of looking at the series in totality, if you're better off maybe trying to use that sound barrier, your own rush to combo that, because Mikey's used Primal a few times during that Kitsune rush from the Dallas field, and he gets just chunked down so fast. You want bubbles during that Kitsune rush. Yeah. I don't know if you want the, the Primal rage necessarily. The cooldown reduction is huge. Here's a death blossom from Strike, and nobody's there to receive it, though Sparkle now tries to walk the road. And Mikey's out of the picture here. Edison in a safe place, but you can't escape from proper. Anywhere safe with him on the map? Nope. The guy is dangerous, almost has another rail ready to go here. All of Dallas getting bundled off into that left-hand side room here. And they have the healing of both supports. That's actually going to be a point flip. Sparkle had to step off of it for a brief sec. Yeah, Sparkle didn't want to face down proper at all. And now the Shocker playing with House oh, And proper's going to the bank with it. Still is able to bring them down, but here's a beat from Violet Matt. The Shock wanna maintain their claim to this space, and they will. Fearless is so low. Fielder goes for a Katsune Rush, but they can't keep the Winston alive. Oh. That ultimate goes to waste. Can they get something with that now? They have Mikey low. They're just trying to push him back, but it's going to be Finn getting on the point here. Mikey will come back as well. That is huge. You worry about that Katsune Rush, right? How do they get use out of it? They lose a player early. Dallas commit. They say, we have to go now. Four players or three, we have to go. They're going to even this up, Matt. They're going to get very close to a tie game. Finn has to be so careful. Trying to cross to the rest of the team. Edison starting to position a little bit more aggressively here. What? They want to cut the shock off. Dallas reluctant to push any further than off the point, though. They will be awaiting San Francisco's first move. Railgun there, Edison. Acknowledges Proper's presence on the left-hand side, but doesn't inflict any damage. Here is the rush, Matt. Finn goes in, Edison gonna be forced away. The swift step to try and back him up. And Mikey gonna go for the primal once more, just to force yeah. them away. San Francisco have the point, but it's 99 for Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. Last fight. Dallas intentionally gives that up there. They know they can re-engage with that sound barrier. Sound barrier, here it is. Like you said, no support ultimates available for San Francisco. They have to play casually from the extremities of the point. But eventually Dallas are gonna look to take the fight to them now. Mikey takes it licking out and the opening needs to be topped up, but Dallas will flip the point now. It's 99 to 99 and Edison still has all the room he needs. Striker, death blossoming in the woods, but no one's there to see it. It's gonna be Sparkle instead. Mikey comes back here, but he gets blown to smithereens. And the Dallas Fuel steer the ship home in the first round. And our first control map goes the distance with the way the first point on control went here. Looks like we could be going the same as these two teams are so evenly matched. And think about the shock. It looked like potentially earlier in the week, this is a team that could be out early. And you're kind of talking about how disappointing the season is. As you know, proper, just great in the regular season. They've gone on an insane loser bracket run. I feel like getting better and better with each series. You see, just matching that stellar play of the Dallas Fuel. A couple days ago, we wouldn't have thought they'd be able to stay in lockstep with a team like the Fuel. And number one and number two seeds, respectively, meeting up in the final. Their paths converging here at the nexus of the Overwatch League season. Dallas decides to take high ground on the side first. It's the shot. They'll take the highway side. Fearless taking the opportunity, forces a swift step there from Finn. So just have to get that cooldown out. Good way to start. It doesn't matter though. There's no saving Edison there. I Proper think... pulls one through his brain. I don't think he's actually even aiming for Edison there. Because uh, Sparkle's coming around the corner. Then actually dodges it and Edison just right behind him. 
Proper is here to excite and delight. And there's a the delivery on that promise here. San Francisco will start with this early lead. <laughs> Let Proper get going, man. The game's going to get away from you awful quick. And this is one of the control points in Overwatch, just in, in all of the maps, right? That is very difficult to flip. A lot of spots to contest from, a lot of cover on the point. Shock can get a ton of percentage out of this. Maybe early right there from Striker, unclear. He takes a bit of damage up front. Oh, they're hunting. They're hunting for it. And then a proper spears him to the floor. He is not scared of him at all in that matchup. I mean, just as soon as he has an idea where Edison is, I, I am getting right in his face and we're having a fight. I love that. So often we see the Sojourns from, from range, right? Maybe try and hope that there's a, a random railgun headshot connecting. Proper doesn't want to leave it up to chance, Matt. He believes he's better, knows it in fact. Ah, there's the Kitsune rush here and that's Chio getting picked off. Dallas dispersed a little bit as they try and get towards the point here and this one is a non-starter. Yeah, as they try and jump over the top, interesting Fearless gets on the point. Just a step from Fielder getting right to him. They use the Katsune Rush as, you know, the Shocker actually trying to move their way back onto the point there, trying to force them into the rush. It doesn't even matter, though. 80% ticking. San Francisco, crucially, with a sound barrier in reserve. This point's been a bloodbath. They've got everything they need, Matt. They're so far ahead. Oh, proper! Okay, what? fancy footwork there. A little bit of Twinkle Toes keeps him alive, and now the spawn camp begins! What can one do against such reckless power? Dallas posing the same question. Fearless is uh -huh. able to slip through the defenses and get a touch here, but everybody's coming for him. Fearless gets off here. Couple players coming in, he eventually goes down. The Fuel had to do it with only four. This time it's Sparkle now. <laughs> a very sheepish contest. Edison was able to find Violet though, there might be something here. A sound barrier also going to be committed. Edison looking for more value off this overclock now. Dallas have been allowed to establish a foothold here, but for how long? Sound barrier now is over. Dallas need these reinforcements and they need them fast. Edison is a full charge with no targets to find here. The stave Mikey off as he tries to interfere with Phyllis's plans. Edison still has a safe pocket to work from here, but now he's going to get pressured down, Mikey. And as Violet, the death blossom from Striker, punctuating the sentence that says, We'll see your first round and raise you the second. That was not a close round. Shock, they establish dominance and control of the point first and they do not look back. So we move to the final round on Oasis. So much pressure here. Winner of this round goes to series point. I, for me, Let's see who kind of goes for that high ground control first, right? You're gonna there's some high ground on the back side of the point here Who tries to take control of that first and then who has to play from that low ground because it can be very difficult This could be it the back breaking round in this first of four series Going to series point is a huge boost for either squad Fearless there has his little home invaded up on that high ground Disrupt the shot thrown to force him down. So interesting, no team takes that high ground first, but Dallas takes the point. And I think it's because if Mikey actually kind of dives in here towards Edison in the back, he can actually use that slide and the dash to get up there towards the high ground where nobody on the shot could access it then. Edison farming that bubble here. Proper goes really swing. well. Field has to get out. Look at the damage on Dallas right now. That has to be topped up, and Field is there. Proper is playing so far for the rest of his team, but he knows he can just slide away if he has to. Dallas are grouped up. They're looking scared, but Mikey is low, low, low. And Proper still goes where he pleases. Sparkle will head first into that one. And, and Sparkle and Fearless are just taking so much damage that as soon as that happens, it's just some damage down from Striker Proper as well. And then they just capitalize so fast. And the Shock don't mind Mikey taking damage because they feel like the Devil's Shield not going to capitalize, not going to play aggressive around that corner. They're not. Proper is constantly swinging left to right around that pillar. Edison is playing from inside the room. He plays Sojourn in almost like a, instead of like more of a long range rail gun in like that medium to close range. Like Cassidy sight lines almost. Yeah. Okay. Geo there, watered away. Sparkle again, and doesn't want to be here, Edison. 
Slides on out and it's gonna be an overclock now for proper that the Foxes are coming home. Edison's able to find Mikey early in the fight. Finn uses Katsune Rush as well and there goes Chio. His head pops like a balloon. And proper has the space, he has the room. What can he do with it now? A striker out of the mix. The front line's starting to collapse a little bit, but Edison is no longer a threat. Proper trying to get people to look at him, trying to garner some attention. And Fearless happily obliges. He's going after the Soju, but Dallas don't have the point. They need to get a flip here. And, and you know, the sound barrier is not great there from Violet. It doesn't say striker, but look at this. Mikey back in the mix. The point is not flipped, and he's got Primal. Primal. Crucially, Sparkle trying to go for the Death Blossom, but it's cut down by Proper. He found the headshot to interrupt that ultimate. What a crucial moment for him to make that happen. And here comes Mikey. Sound barrier now for the Dallas Fuel. Mikey having to play from the extremities here, but he sees Edison. He thinks about going downstairs and dealing with a bit of Katsune Rush comes out from Fielder. Saves the Sojourn's life for now, but all the while, Shock are ticking up this capture percentage now at 78. Mikey's low. Proper's able to find Fielder. So again, the Winston Battle being one out once more, and Striker comes in. Sparkle removed and Chio has to head for the kills. This has gone all wrong for Dallas. And that fight goes so long. They lose Edison here at the end. 90% and counting for the shock. One fight separates, separates him from going to game point. Edison's going to be late, Matt. It's four players that Dallas have to make this happen with. It's like Helm's Deep, an unlikely scenario for the fuel. Their sojourn is on the way and the shock They're gives some ground proper. here. But Proper's done with that. He's here to take what is his. Bubble up in the way, but it's going to be a container rush coming down now. Proper looking to back away. See Sparkle heading his way in the bubble now, throwing down over him. But there it is. That's the pick. Sparkle's down, but Edison's able to reciprocate this time. It's Mikey taken off the board. Playing around that middle pillar again, and Proper still swinging wide, real wide. Upstairs, and Edison, he's six feet under. Fearless now trying to get some value out of this primal, but everybody's looking at him. There's not enough healing for the fuel. Fielder now throwing out his tickets, but nobody wants them. San Francisco go to championship point. Again. So what's on the other side of the horizon, San Francisco? Dare to find out. On the attack here at Route 66, of course, Dallas off to take a relatively close hold. They don't try and flood towards spawn here, and they look a little uncertain, actually about what to do about this position. So they don't want to play extremely far up. They just kind of poke here at the beginning as Disruptor Shot Sparkle's got enough Wraith for him to make it out. Proper opens it up. Wouldn't be a shock map without it. Everyone throwing themselves at it, but he's able to slip through the cracks. And that's a pretty compelling start here for San Francisco. And Proper only knows one direction, it is forward. Gets right up on that high ground. W key. Look how far up he is there with Violet. So he's just trying to farm some damage. Like, hey, you, know, you want to come through this choke? Maybe I just rip somebody's head off. He wants the fuel to know. He wants the fuel to know he's coming for them perpetually. Dallas ward him away from the high ground here with a teleport forward from Sparkle. Fearless even throws down the dome. But Proper still hunting. A lot of pressure now. He's head to the high ground. Here comes that aggression from Proper. He's top back up. Somehow he's still standing. Fielder is able to find Finn. That's a key pick off, especially with Katsune Rush on board. San Francisco Peter out here. They take too long to strike a critical blow. <laughs> like uh, when Dallas went in the back. You know, Rush was just looking at Fearless like, I don't care what's going on. You chase their sojourn around. You do not let him get out of your face. Uh, is right there, you see Fearless always right in front of Proper, not letting him get that space. Discipline from Fielder there, doesn't use the Kiriko ultimate. Field, Finn will have one to match in this fight. It's going to come down to the finer points of execution. Sparkle and Striker a long way away from Death Blossom, so that may not be a factor here. Proper playing from a compromising position, you might think, but he's able to get away to safety now. Sound barrier first from the shot. Chio's holding on to his right now. But San Francisco can't derive an advantage with that ultimate! This is huge for Dallas! Monumental! They're back in this! That is a massive fight win for the Dallas Fuel. Support alts blown on both sides, but Proper ends up trying to go with the overclock. Maybe he thinks he's a, on a good flank with a nice angle on top of Big Earl's behind the Dallas Fuel. And results in nothing. One minute 20 left here for the Shock to make a real dent in this map. Not a ton of time. 
being staved off the last couple of fights pretty comfortably. Edison starting to feel maybe a little bit more confidence, but he's still cautious as ever. Bubbling the way, he wants to take it to Big Earls, and proper pin to the wall, and make it two. Finn now trying to escape, Edison able to connect there, looked like a Susie might have interrupted that. Edison thinking, wait, what's that shadow behind me? No, it's my own tank. Less than a minute for San Francisco. The gauntlet was thrown by the Shock and the Dallas Fuel. They've got a decent pitching arm themselves. And they got a ways to go, do the Shock. Not really a, a ton you love to work with, right? Uh, Overclock was used by Edison, so the Primal with Okasuna Rush, you know, maybe Mikey's able to come up with something. And the Death Blossom, you know, with so much ways to avoid it, especially on this map, could be tough. Fearless there, forced to keep his head down by Proper, who's hunting. Edison's going to play around the billboard here. They're trying to get Violet beat. He's trying to wait for Proper as well to stop strafing. Maybe he can find a connection there. Violet's going to be pushed away. They're just trying to bait damage here to get this beat for Violet. Geo's are pretty far behind here. He needs to be catching up in that metric. Proper now up on that high ground there. Primal rate for both Winstons. Can they force some action here? It looks like they could be traveled in the tunnels. And Sparkle's taken down. Kitsune rush now for the Dallas Fuel. Can they recover? No, they can not. Fearless tries to bubble this one up, but it's not going to be enough. Crisis averted. Really nice use of the Death Blossom there. Mikey after Primal gets really low. Has to jump back towards the team who's you know, kind of in that Katsuni rush from the Dallas Fuel. Mikey lands a bubble. There, there can't be any follow-up because Striker is using the Death Blossom inside of that bubble. You're not going to chase that kill onto Mikey, go into the Reaper. And Shock able to win that and have both support ults on deck. That's smarts for Dallas, right? Using the Katsune Rush and getting nothing for it. We thought the Shock were trying to just build up, but they just start the fight with Primal Rages. Seems to work just fine. Mikey and Fearless here trading blows. Bit of a wet noodle fight here, but it's about forcing the positioning of the enemy, Winston. Edison's going for it, though. Time for the overclock. And there it is. Good opener. Still some work to do now, and that should be enough with Mikey and Finn both out of the pitch of the Shock. We'll have to concede. Yeah, it's interesting. The Shock don't feel that they, uh, so Violet not gonna make it out. They don't feel that they, like, need to kind of invest anything and win that fight, right? When the overclock comes out, Mikey doesn't have the lead, doesn't have Primal, so you can't really get in Edison's face. You're all kind of stuck there in the middle of the road. Uh, you may as well just go again, right? You know you have an advantage in terms of support ults. No reason to burn them and waste them there. Fearless getting a bit of information here. He notices that most of the Shock are trying to play on this route. Shock proper trying to circle around here. Looking out for Edison. Finds Fielder there. Oh my goodness, that was close. Just a bit more charge, and this fight could have been over already. Dallas now taught their lesson. It's going to be a sound barrier to make this a bit safer for them. Katsuna Rush is on the ground. Proper hasn't gone for that overclock just yet. And there's a decent amount of Alpha Strike damage on the Dallas Fuel Sparkle trying to back away, but Edison's found Violet. Now the Shock are committed. They don't really have a way to escape. Guts, glory. It's all there for the Shock, but no W. A little surprised that we didn't see Proper end up using the overclock there. Sparkle and a few other players trying to hightail it out pretty low in that scenario. So Violet still holding on to this sound barrier for this Katsune Rush that's going to come down. A mismatch of support ultimates here. Many of the other relevant ones are on deck, though. Finn has to jump away. He's going to be pursued. Sound barrier now from Violet. Mikey doesn't get it, but has to prime a race to give him some survivability. Can't say the same for Fearless, though. He's in danger. Proper finally fells the Raging Beast. What the Sparkle! He bails out the fuel. And we're going all the way. Dallas, all they have to do is turn around on this attack. Have a good showing and they can force that final map. But we've seen them falter when it comes to those offenses, Matt. Even halfway through the map, it's all they had to push on those first two payload maps. And they've been staved off before. They're not out of the woods yet. But Sparkle bailed them out there big time. Yeah, big time kills from the Reaper of the Dallas Fuel. In Dallas, you think their offense can be a little bit better, right? More aggressive, getting fearless into, you know, positions to make plays. Uh, where the Shock, you know, they had an advantage in terms of support ults, but uh, with the way this map is, right, with this this kind of, like, verticality and, you know, different types of, like, uh, you know, bridges and whatnot, very difficult to get great use out of that Katsune Rush. 
Sparkle here, he just picks this spot so well. The Katuna Rush means that he can get in position. That's the ultimate combo right now. And San Francisco probably relieved that they even managed to get past that first phase of the map, right? Getting into Very that. Very difficult. Getting into that second is a big deal. Oh, I like this from Dallas, a little spicy. It's been done before. It's the Shock will play close. We'll see for how long. Fearless on the Roadhog. Oh, thought maybe we were going to see a seen some teams go for the Roadhog with trying to get a hook at the start here. Sonic Arrow to check, see if anybody's coming. Well, games though. Dallas will know what the Shock are up to now. <laughs> Proper trying to kick something off here. Edison, as always, really just trying to make sure he puts his life first. And Striker gets dragged down in the front line. You're battering Ram now. Broken in two. How about a bit of flank action? Taste of your own medicine. As for the Dallas Fuel on their defense, decided to play close up when it got a little bit scary. They decided to back up and play around this first corner. The, the shock up to everybody play close. We're going to try and burn as much time as possible. We've seen that in previous metas before. So they push up, they get on top of big girls. It'll just be Sparkle moving the payload right now. Shock on a surge in here. To their relief, they can still control this high ground to a degree. The cart still just rounding that hairpin. Robert's looking for a target. No one there. Dallas really playing close together inside Big Girls, but they're getting cart progress. They're saying, no, you have to step down and contest this. We're not going to give you any freebies here. Look at this positioning. So cagey. So frustrating. Up we go. The Shock are going to have to fight soon. Sound barrier may be available for that. Great read on proper though, Edison. Making sure he can get the drop on his opposite number. Doesn't connect the rail there, but the idea was good. Here's a Katsune Rush now. Edison trying to get to a safe spot. He's in a close little lane. Proper is going to abscond to the high ground here. Sparkle is in his element right now. Sound barrier for both sides. So this will have to be waited out for a time. But Mikey so low above the bubble and he's taken down. Can't get back to safety. It's not over yet. But Dallas Hill have the numbers. And I love that peel. Midway through the fight, they turn around. They shut Proper down. They're starting to get a read on that. Yeah, they're doing a much better job at punishing. Not letting Proper just go wherever he wants on the map. So that is going to be point A taken above four minutes. They don't even need all. They don't need to get it all the way through. Checkpoint B. Just right about, you know, past underneath that underpass there. That's it. Four minutes and five seconds to do it. It is a whopping time, Megan. That's going to make this even worse. Proper charging in, but he doesn't know what he's looking for. Dallas! Vaporize! All of a sudden, they turn up on the wrong side of the map. And San Francisco are disoriented. Edison and co. will push up. Some ultimates to use here for the shock, but so much time available for the Dallas Fuel to make it happen. We said that on King's Row, though, and the shock were able to hold. Look, though, Sparkle ushering the cart forward. Gently here as that is the pick. That might be it! Mikey trying to go overhead here, but without proper. Where's the firepower going to be? Strike has got nowhere to go and make it to Edison. Turning the lights out here on Route 66. Sparkle on Lakata. We're going all the way! The fuel have come so close in the past. And they were not ready to go just yet, as we will go to a seventh game in this series. No substitutions, no surprises there. Mikey is the guy that San Francisco believe can take them to a third championship. Here we go! The gates open, it is the usual. It's Dallas gets there first. You're going to see a lot of this type of posturing here, trying to find some damage down for these Sojourn players. Fearless hoping there to drag. 
One or two players out of formation there that proper responds in the prescribed manner. Slide away to safety. But there's some rail charge here he'd love to get some value out of. Dallas presenting him with some options. Proper now deciding to back away. Maybe gets a little bit too close there. Fearless not able to stick to kill both teams. So careful here. Violet gets so low. He's gonna, gonna be able to top him back up. Mikey though, getting pressured. Bubble now being broken here. The Fuel are in a power position. They're in the stronger spot. The Shock looking for Proper to swing and find that key kill. Bubble here and there it is. The account is open at the Bank of San Francisco. Sparkle the first deposit. And now we're looking at a clean up here. No Reaper means no problem for Mikey as he surges ahead. Edison now removed. Dallas looking a little bit toothless here, but Fearless tries to stand tall. How much longer, you say? It, the, the Reaper is one of the more high value picks you can get at the start. So the bot went a little bit in, uh, in favor of the Dallas Fuel there at the start. As you see the shot, they push up. They're okay taking this mid-map fight because they have that ultimate advantage in terms of supports. Shio not quite at that sound barrier yet. I like this from the shock. Let's go early, go fast. Field able to play from the side here. Proper passes in by because he only has eyes for Edison. That's a sojourn down on the Dallas Fuel side of things now. And Mikey returns to finish the job. Sparkle forced to Wraith walk away. And this is a good start for San Francisco. Fielder has Suzu. Does he have swift step? No, climbing the wall. He's able just to get away in time. But Dallas aren't advancing across the map. No, it's the shock will get Oh, a little bit. Oh, that's a huge kill. A headshot there on the proper. Fielder getting involved now. What a great time to do it. Sparkle going to try and compound the issue with the death boss. And he gets the round the corner. And he gets his due. That is the first big team wipe we've had here on Coliseo thus far. As Dallas will now take the lead. Just look at how far up they push. They can't, they can't allow the shock to just access this high ground for free. They need to make it difficult to do so. A little bit scary for the fuel to push into this part of the map. They'd love the shock to bring the fight to them if at all possible. Edison thought he had something lined up there and he almost did. Striker taking a beating in that front line, forced to back up now with the Wraith Walk, and Edison again peeking these side angles, again taking Striker low. 650 here. Proper getting close. The Bloodthirst beginning to take over. Suzu used here and now, and there is the strike from the Fuel! Emerging from Immortality! They take the shock to task! Yeah, and they have the Kitsune Rush there. And they don't want to push up there. They played it really well, the Dallas Fuel. They want to allow the shock to come in. They don't want to push into that high ground that the shock have on like a little bit of a defensive side here. They want to allow that fight to happen in that archway. Win it now, push up. Slow and steady play for Dallas here. Losing Chio there, less than ideal. They're not going to be able to get up the hill at this stage. Yeah. Mikey wisely backing up there. So they, they end up using the Kitsune Rush there do the shock. They get that pick and now they have to back up. You actually thought the sound barrier may have been in response, but they killed Chio, so that's pretty big. Mikey just testing here. Wants the pressure primal. Edison. Yeah, Primal coming in, trying to juggle, but the sound barrier is going to be there in response. And in the meantime, Edison goes to work. And Violet had sound barrier. Surgical extraction of your Lucio player. Tough to come back from that one. And the scalpel is still in this man's hands. There it is, Fielder cleans up Mikey. And Dallas are painting it blue. So we will swing back the other direction with the bot. May get up to the point of pushing that barrier, getting close to that first checkpoint. But that pick from Edison is massive. He's going to use the overclock. Sound barrier came just in time, not for every member of the shock, but for enough to allow them to hold steadfast that for now. such a good trade for the fuel, though. Oh, it's struck here. He falls into the crosshairs. And Edison ain't done. Violet won't be able to get away. And the fuel are firing on all cylinders. And to push up and use your overclock and be able to trade that for sound barrier, you're fine with that. Not only does that happen, you also get a kill onto Striker. Huge play from Edison thus far.
Getting the checkpoint here is so huge. It's over halfway through the round. The Shocks still have a window here. Getting rid of Edison, a good start. Proper has a prime vantage here. But Sparkle goes for the Death Blossom. You can't be expecting that if you're the Shock and you've lost Violet. As a result, they run away from Striker, but Chio's not so lucky. Now Striker gets Fearless face to face. And his fears are realized. And we swing back the other way. The Shock do not have the same luxury the Dallas Fuel had, where they didn't have to push into the high ground. Because you're behind, and because we're already halfway through this game, and because you've installed this out for so long in the middle, the Shock need to be that aggressive team here. Trying to start up another fight, just as you mentioned. Finn again trying to find whatever he can. And here is the Katsune Rush. Looks like Suzu deployed there, and that's going to be enough. Inoculates the shock from any unexpected damage sources as Edison pops once more. Now Proper's got him lined up. As he gets up here on this high ground, so aggressive. Has that overclock to use here. And maybe you see Mikey kind of pass around the corner, a Winston bubble for protection to come in the way, but he's trying to keep this charge. Trying to keep this position too. A, a pickoff here may actually give them the checkpoint. Fearless comes in over the top, there's a Primal Rage available, Chio sends the beat in, but Edison doesn't have it, he's so low! Proper's gonna be forced away, Fearless just in time to shove him out the way as he was poised to strike. Mikey gets Edison. Eventually Edison is run down, Matt, that sound barrier didn't reach him and his life was cut short. Chio might be headed over the edge here. Looks like he's able to salvage the situation now as the Shock are getting close to that checkpoint. Sparkle surges forward now, but a sound barrier for San Francisco is gonna have to give him pause for thought. Backing up, even with Katsune Rush in play, Dallas are a little cagey. A lot of damage on Mikey. Can they patch that up in time? It looks like it. And they get Edison back and they use everything here, the Dallas Fuel. They need to hold. That should be enough. How about three? And if you're Dallas, you don't. So you would love some more progress on this barrier, right? But it's not 100% necessary. They can push this bot up, they can then back up, and they can play middle map if they want to. Being able to play from the bridge at least. You see where they back up to, right? They, they back up to that choke point. They don't want to push through that high ground. Probably wouldn't have been ready for that there. Edison picks him off, it could be all over, but Sparkle might have them. By the chins here. One minute and 47 seconds left in the round. No checkpoint yet for San Francisco. And Dallas are surging ahead once more. It's time to dig deep. So you're gonna get that bot around the corner. Primal Rage, both support alts probably available here for the Dallas Fuel. 90 second warning. Edison trying to keep himself. Oh, there it is. Striker tries to drop down on a flank, but Edison got to it first. It's Uni Rush, and they just back out. Uh, look, they, they've gotten a lot of progress here, 90 meters. They, they don't have to fight that there. Here's a rush from the fuel now, and this one has the bite to match the bark. Sparkle out of the window there, looking for Proper, who has to back away. Is this it? Is this all the shock have? Under a minute to go. The barrier making its way towards the end of the map. Edison could seal the deal here. How do you come back from this? There goes Light. Finn, there oh. goes Proper! <laughs> Edison! Trying to bring it home, but Strike has found two. A chance here for the Shock. They've got a sound barrier. Striker for four. Violet steals the ace. But oh, the Shock are back on the road, we 23 have, seconds. We have seen crazy stuff on this map. You think back to earlier in the season, Pelican on the Houston Outlaws. Gonna come up with some huge plays. As we jump back in the game, 10 seconds left. We're gonna jump in OT. Now just wanna start this fight up. Shock fans, do you believe in magic? Because you're gonna need it right now. Primal for Fearless, he's knocked back, but he's still hunting. Able to get away from proper. He's a little bit low. We're in overtime now, and Dallas opt to regroup, albeit for just a moment. Violet's got beat. Has to get value out of this. You cannot die in this situation if you're Violet. 50 meters is a long way for San Francisco. 
Mikey goes in and then straight back out. Doesn't find what he was looking for. Fearless in the front line over time. Is the sound barrier coming out for San Francisco? They get it on fire players and Fielder's gonna struggle there. Pump has found him. as an opening here. There's a chance, but Sparkle shuts Finn down. San Francisco with a four versus three, but Edison from the top rope hits him with the RKO. Striker wants to try and chase him down. Gets his revenge and she might be in trouble here. Violet's able to find the kill and the shock aren't done. You're going to have a six spawn advantage here for the Dallas Fuel though. Only two plays here for San Francisco. It's not much to work with here. How do they touch the cart? The bubble's going to be there. Violet's going to be forced away. He's in grave danger. Grave danger indeed. The touch is there from Striker. He has a death blossom, but there's no chance. The Dallas Fuel take their place amongst the stars. The bird brighter than them all. Rising to become your 2022 Overwatch League champions.